So now, let's talk about how to work with camera animation inside of Cinema 4D. So for that, I'm just going to grab an object, something uh, like an oil tank. So let me just uh, duplicate this out so that we have something to work around when we work around with the camera animation right here. So here I have three objects. So in order to bring in a camera, I, I can go to the camera right here. There's the camera, there's the target camera, stereo camera, which is a 3D camera motion camera and camera crane but we're going to focus right now on the camera uh, which is the basics so i'm going to go into the camera and now i'm in my camera viewport as you can see so if i were to uh go go around right here and move around you can see that the camera actually moves around just like that so over here you can see that the camera is right here this is the camera but if i want to see the camera view itself i can actually go over here and click on the camera object and once i move around it actually rotates around just with the camera right here. So I'm going to go over here into the navigation. This is my object mode right here. So it actually focuses on the object. And if you want to add in an animation to camera, it's quite easy to do so. So you can go to the camera and over here on the coordinates, you can see that there's the X, Y, and Z axis. So if you were to move this, you can see that you can move around uh, these things and add in a keyframe over here just like that. So let's say I want to have an Y axis animation so I can click over here to add in a keyframe right over here. And I can also add in a keyframe to the rotation so I can go around right here and also add in a keyframe to the rotation. So I'm just going to add in a keyframe on both of these. I'm just gonna move the slider right here and then I'm going to uh, bring this down. So I'm just going to bring this down right here and tilt the camera right a bit up and I can add in a keyframe right here. And once you go to the beginning and play this, you can see that the camera animation happens just like that. I can also go around over here, move around the camera according to what I want. And I can add in a keyframe to all of them just like this. And if I were to play this around, you can see that this is what happens with the camera animation right there. So let me just uh, remove all of it. Let me just delete all of the tracks right here. Uh, animation, uh, delete track. So now what I want to do is I'm going to make sure that the keyframe happens automatically. So I'm going to go into the beginning. So I'm just going to go over here into auto keyframe right here. So I'm going to select this object right here and the keyframe is added as I know it. I can zoom out right here, move around a bit and the keyframe gets added just like that over here. I can move around just like that and another keyframe is added. You can see that everything all the keyframes are being added accordingly. So I can go over here, move around, focuses on the object, I can zoom around. And this is how my camera animation actually works. So that is basically how you add in camera animation to your scene. And then you can uh, uh, work around with more control over the camera. Right now you can see that everything is actually quite wiggly. Everything is popping in and out. So it's not a very smooth way, but one of the easiest. So. Uh, we're going to learn about how to make camera controls in the ne um, uh, next tutorial. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.